Bonjour everyone, allow me to introduce the PSA 1.5 liter Blue HDI. You may already be familiar with it, because since the PSA group took over Opel, this French darling has not only appeared in one or two Peugeots, but also in Opel models. Repairs to the belt drive are quite time-consuming, to be honest. You need to pay attention to a couple of things, and that also adds time. I'll now show you exactly what you have to watch out for. This will make sure everything's fitted safely, and safety is more important than speed, okay? Then let's get started. Here I have a 1.5 liter Blue HDI 130 with 96 kilowatts from a 2018 Peugeot 5008. It has the engine code DV5 and a belt change interval of 180,000 kilometers or 10 years. For this job, you'll need our CT1230 timing belt and the VO3 toolbox. Before you start, you first have to remove the undershield, the multi-V belt, including tensioner, the timing belt guard, the front right wheel and the front right wheel arch liner. Then you still have the engine mounting bracket here and the crankshaft belt pulley to dismantle before you can set the timing. Once you've exposed the timing belt drive, you screw the crankshaft belt pulley's bolt back in and turn the engine in its direction of rotation until the timing can be locked with pins. The following markers have to be correctly set for this. At the high pressure pump here, at the camshaft sprocket, at the crankshaft sprocket and finally at the transmission here at the bottom. There's something you must watch out for with this engine. There's a magnetic sensor wheel here. Take care with it, as if it gets damaged it will have to be replaced. So, now you've set the timing correctly. Next, we replace the parts. To do so, first loosen the tensioner pulley nut, then slacken the timing belt and take it off, after which you can replace the components. When fitting the tensioner pulley, you have to make sure you install it in a specific position. We have a lobe here, and the tensioner pulley must be positioned with this slot hooked over the lobe. You fit the new timing belt in a clockwise direction, starting at the camshaft sprocket. You then pass it around the water pump, high pressure fuel pump and, last of all, the tensioner pulley. To set the timing belt correctly, remove the locking tools and tighten the tensioner pulley by turning the eccentric cam counterclockwise until the pointer is aligned with the upper stop. Now you turn the engine over six times in its direction of rotation, then set the timing and adjust the timing belt tension so that the pointer is exactly in the center of the notch. To remove the locking tools again, turn the engine over two more times and check the tension. The timing must be correct and the tensioner pulley's pointer must be in the center of the notch. If everything's fine, you can reassemble the engine in reverse order and finish the job. Tighten the deflection pulley to 35 Newton meters, the tensioner pulley's nut to 30 Newton meters, and the crankshaft belt pulley's bolt to 35 Newton meters plus 190 degrees. Don't forget our seal of quality. Place our part replacement sticker in the engine compartment where it's clearly visible, so that the customer sees you have fitted quality. Oh! <laughs>